you know, hydrogen is the most abundant element on Earth. You can find it in large quantities in water, hydrocarbons, and other organic matter. This element also makes up about 10% of our body mass, while it amounts to 75% of all mass in the universe. Sure, nowadays, we all know what hydrogen is, what it can be used for, and its formula H2. But believe it or not, there was a time when people were not aware of this gas that makes up so much of what we breathe, eat, and live how was hydrogen discovered and by who? Keep watching to find out. According to the Big Bang Theory, the universe was created around 13.8 billion years ago and was the result of a single point. This point began stretching and expanding with the help of the abundant supply of hydrogen in the cosmos. As we've mentioned before, hydrogen amounts to 75% of all matter in the universe. The majority of what's left is helium, while all the other elements combined barely make up 1% of the universe that was formed after the Big Bang. So, according to the Big Bang theory, hydrogen precedes our entire universe. But the first time hydrogen was ever identified as a chemical element was in 1766, when English physicist and chemist Henry Cavendish was able to accurately describe its chemical properties. Despite that, there are earlier instances in which scientists and chemists have described similar gases, but never actually named them, like Cavendish did. For example, in 1520, a German-Swiss scientist by the name of Theophrastus von Hohenheim came up with a description of a gas that resembles a lot what hydrogen is. He did not give that gas a particular name, nor did he say anything about its properties. In 1670, almost a century before Cavendish's discovery, Irish alchemist Robert Boyle was the first person ever to discover a flammable gas that was released during a reaction between iron and diluted acid. Yet again, that gas was not named. So, despite these discoveries from 1520 and 1670, it was Cavendish who initially named this inflammable air as phlogiston of the metal. Later, British chemist Joseph Priestley noticed that this flammable gas, when combined with oxygen, would produce water. Twelve years later, after Cavendish's discovery in 1788, French chemist Antoine Lavoisier finally gave hydrogen its name. The word hydrogen comes from the Greek words hydro and genes, which translate into water and born of. By then, it was clear that hydrogen combined with oxygen would result in water. And in 1800, two English scientists discovered that they can also do the reverse, produce hydrogen and oxygen from water. This process involved applying an electric current to water, and it was later named electrolysis. From there on, the entire 19th century is full of ideas and experiments with hydrogen. The gas was used for balloons and airships, but because of its flammability, a lot of accidents and tragedies occurred, leading people to shift away from the use of hydrogen in these applications. In his fictional book, The Mysterious Island, 1874, the prophetic writer Jules Verne mentioned the use of hydrogen as fuel. Little did he know that it would eventually start being used as such. In fact, in the 1970s, the interest in hydrogen as a potential fuel source increase drastically. This was mostly due to concerns about the environment and the availability of fossil fuels. But since then, there has been a lot of research and development focused on hydrogen fuel cell technology as a way to power vehicles and other machines. Today, you will find hydrogen being used in a wide range of industries, from chemical production, metal refining, to fuel for transportation. Researchers are also exploring the idea of hydrogen being used as a potential energy storage solution for renewable energy sources such as wind and solar power. What interesting facts do you know about hydrogen? Let us know in the comment section below. And if you enjoy these types of videos, make sure to subscribe to the channel and click the bell icon so that you're notified each time we post new content. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again in our next video.